All right, now we're talking. Welcome back. Make ahead Monday this morning. The only reason we keep Carson around is for <laughs> Siri Daly. She's I'm cooking up chicken. <laughs> Siri, so good to see you. Thanks for having Always me, guys. Good to have you. Yeah, so are you meal planners? Uh, yes, I am. Okay, yes, well, that's good. Really I'm not usually good at it, but if I put thought in it, mm -hmm. it makes my week so much better. So we're going to do three recipes with ground chicken. All right. Um, and this is one of my favorite burgers right now. So here's ground chicken. Yeah. Um, to it, we're going to add bacon, which just kind of, you know, because this is a lighter meat, mm -hmm. but this yeah. will make it really yummy. Cheese, bell right. peppers, um, and then do you want to grab those spices? Yes, ma'am. What kind um, of spices? So that is smoked paprika, mm -hmm. uh -huh. salt, cumin, garlic powder, and pepper. Nice. Okay. And prior to the segment, I sauteed, this is actually onions, oh. red onions sauteed in barbecue sauce. So it's basically like an onion jam. Yes, exactly. In barbecue so, sauce. Yeah, so we're going to throw that so that's in there. A and then sweetness. you want to grab that panko? Yeah. yeah, it's so yummy. And if you want so, to make that keto, you just leave out the panko. Leave, leave out the panko, yeah. exactly. But why would we um, want to make it keto? <laughs> <laughs> For Al, right? Oh, okay. You, she has yeah. Um, so you're going to stir this all together. Mm -hmm. And then I actually like to form patties okay. using wet hands so that it doesn't get all sticky right. ah. and put them in the fridge for like 30 minutes. So, so we'll just help them, yeah, and it'll help them keep their shape. Mm -hmm. So we're going to put one on the stove and we grill it for like four to um, five minutes per side until right. it gets nice and crispy and brown. And you could do this on the grill if you want. You could do it on the grill, totally. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm, I'm telling you I love these burgers so much. So over here, again, to make it keto friendly, wrap it in lettuce. lettuce. Sure. But um, I like some buttery toasted yes. bun. Yes, who doesn't? Um, so we'll just build our burger. Do you want to build a burger? You can put sure. um, barbecue sauce, mm -hmm. cheddar cheese. I actually like to leave the cheese grated. What's so that? not, oh. I don't know, there's something about this burger. There was a there was a restaurant burger once like this where they just have grated cheddar and it so kind so of, if, you, if it's you? hot, it kind of melts a little bit, but I don't know, I just love it Ooh, this way. Jalapenos so jalapenos as well. Jalapenos, oh. avocado. All right. All right. And you make enough of this. So well, now we have, we're just gonna still use our ground chicken. Okay. And we're gonna make some chicken lettuce wraps. These this are actually perfect, in my book, um, but I use ground beef. Mm -hmm. So you could use ground turkey, whatever you have. but. This week we have chicken. So over here we have garlic and um, ginger, fresh ginger. Mm, that's so good, good, right? Um, and healthier than a traditional burger. Right, right. We're gonna add water oh. chestnuts oh. and um, bell peppers. So that gives a little crunch. Yep. And then over here we have our ground chicken. Mm -hmm. And to this we're gonna add all of these different. So you saute that. To right. so this we're gonna add all these sauces. So here, Al, this is soy. Okay. This is lemon juice. We've got some sesame oil, oh, some nice. fish sauce, mm -hmm. some honey. Um, and we'll saute that for a little bit, and then you want to add that. That's our bell pepper, water, chestnut, onion mixture. Mm -hmm. So we'll stir all that together. It comes up looking like this. Exactly. And then you just get some nice bib lettuce or butter lettuce. Mm -hmm. So this is in. already keto friendly. Yeah. Yeah, and yeah then right? Like cilantro. Really keto friendly. Yep, cilantro. I like to put some chopped peanuts, peanuts on the top. Oh, so some it's, it's got a little bit of cucumbers. Asian flair. Yes, exactly. Sriracha. I love, love the it. hot Very sauce. Nice. Um, you, like, you like spicy. Some I do. Jalapenos I do. Oh, yeah. I like that. Um, then finally, we're going to make with, ground, with our, the rest of our ground chicken, we're going to make a chicken chili, a creamy mm. chicken chili. So there's onions and carrots sauteed okay. in here. We're going to add some garlic and then our ground chicken. And we'll just kind of saute that for a little bit. Right, that's good like too, Like 10 sure. minutes, yeah. right? Yummy. Yeah. And you could do it, like I said, you could do it with beef if you want. Huh. I feel like that's a really good like dinner or appetizer. Mm -hmm. um, Are you using white ground chicken or dark, does it matter? We were just talking about that. Yeah. I love the, like the dark meat, yeah, ground, ground chicken. Ground but chicken thighs. Exactly. Really um, got okay, so here, yep, then to this, we're gonna add some flour, mm -hmm. our spices. The flour will just thicken up the chili. Mm -hmm. Our broth, we've got some cannellini beans. Um, green chilies that come in a can. Oh. We'll add all of that in here. And at the very end, a little bit of white, I mean, of heavy cream. Right. You or can, you can put coconut you can milk. Skip that. Yeah, totally. If you, if you want to make it uh, dairy friendly, mm -hmm. put a little coconut milk. And it's nice and creamy. Top it with all of your yummy toppings. Thank you, Mr. Roper. I love Thank anything you. with toppings. This is fantastic. Oh, Seriously, yeah. sure, you really. knocked it out of the park. Oh. Hey, Carson, you're the best thing that ever happened to that Carson. Oh my God! I hope he knows. Carson, who? Please, if you, you like these recipes, pick up Siri's book, Seriously Delicious. All of these recipes can be found oh, at today.com/food, and there are no pictures of Carson, and it's fantastic. Yeah. You we'll guys are right coming back. home with me. You're, you're my favorite. We're there. Welcome back, our favorite part of the show, Make Ahead Monday, and today we are turning up the heat. We're frying some chicken, and who better to do that than chef and owner of Red Rooster Harlem, Mr. Marcus Samuelson? Always oh, good. How are you? We 
need to mention this, by the way. Your Audible original series, Our Harlem, Seven Days of Cooking, Music yes. and Soul, at the Red Rooster, it premieres on June 27th. June 27th, right. when we've been, it was such a fun project, man. Mm. A digital cookbook. I really feel like cookbook, this is what the next future of the cookbook's mm -hmm. gonna be yes. like. But it was fun because the whole community, all of Harlem is in there between church and Dapper Dan and Thelma Golden to really learn about what, what makes Harlem so special. Before we start cooking also, yeah. tomorrow, of course, um, Anthony Bourdain's birthday. It is, yes. Um, and I know you guys are good friends. He yeah. traveled to Ethiopia with you, if I remember correctly. How uh, are you going to be remembering him tomorrow? Uh, me and my wife, we have so many great memories with Anthony. And just being with him in Ethiopia, out in the countryside, uh, and that's how I want to remember him, you know, just always being a traveler, always being curious, and we have so many good memories. So I, from now, tomorrow it's going to be a celebration. Let's cook some chicken, brother. How about Absolutely. How about so we started with fried chicken, and just because it's fried chicken, it didn't mean like you don't have to have any leftovers, right? We have mm. three steps. So we're starting with dark meat bone out. We have this dredge here that's heavily seasoned and spiced, okay. right? Got a little bit of flour here, dredged it. And then we're gonna fry it. And you okay. want that sizzle. What seasonings are we using here? So I need a little bit of paprika, chili, cumin, garlic powder. You can make your own mm. seasoning. I call it the chicken shake. Mm. And chicken what kind shake. of oil do you use? So, you know, canola oil is great. Uh, peanut oil is also good, but sometimes you cook with kids. A lot of kids today have not allergies, mm. so I would, I would probably suggest a, uh, canola oil. Okay, right? and how long? How do we know when it's done? This is gonna be about, I wanna say six, seven minutes or so, mm. because you want it nice and crunchy. You want it basically to look like this okay. right here, Good. right? All right, now you're gonna, we're going to move you down. So that's your beautiful left. fried chicken, oh, exactly. It's so pretty. But it's and summertime. It's delicious. Coming down here, so okay. what do you do with the leftovers? If they're on and the leftovers, right? right? How about do some great sort of fried chicken mm -hmm. barbecue sandwiches, right? So we have we have the chicken, we okay. have our bun. Mm -hmm. Are you going to put this you on? You made yeah, this nice little ahead. slaw here, right? It's a beautiful slaw, a little bit scallion. Look at that, look at that. What's in this? So you have apple, you have scallions. Okay, and what's you, binding it all together? Uh, a little bit of yogurt and oh. sour cream. Okay, right? just pile that on top. Pile that on top. Okay. You know, we're gonna put this, this guy underneath. Oh, what's that? And now you're gonna do this. You're gonna look pretty and <laughs> eat a chicken sandwich <laughs> on live TV. Okay. I wish you luck. Have you met I, me? I wish you luck. This you is can do I, it. I do this for a living. <laughs> Mm. Oh, that's oh, very yeah. impressive. Oh, very wow. impressive. I didn't remember yeah. that. No, good. That, that, that's strong. That's oh, that strong. So I'm jealous. Oh, so my even goodness. if you have leftovers after this, mm. after all this, oh, we just, you shouldn't really be any leftovers after oh, this. Right? You've got some left, and then we're over here. Now tell me how we take that and make soup. Oh, right now, we, we take it? all the leftovers. Take okay. the bones. We take everything because you know, as Americans, we throw away 37% of all the food we buy. Yeah. We mm -hmm. have to stop that. Right. So chicken stock. I use a little bit of onion and ginger. Okay. This guy, lemongrass. Mm. Right? Break that up. And oh, wait, you know, I'm ashamed. I've never even seen it. I just tasted it. I'm going to open it up. So, so, lemongrass, actually, it smells so terrific. You want to open it up. Okay. Uh, smell ah, that. That's your flavor. Ah, right? yes. So, we're going to simmer Ooh, all that. So. Lemongrass, star anise. Okay. And then you goodness. have a beautiful broth. Okay. Just like this. Mm. You, 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 you want to taste this. Broth. I want to taste it. We're almost out of time. So, we're going to put it on. Today.com. So we have chicken, scallions, oh, a little bit of noodles, and we're gonna pour this broth on top. What's that egg thing? Is that like a scallion it's a, pancake? This is amazing. It's a, it's a scallion pancake, exactly. Mm, this is amazing. You can come over here and taste it, look pretty again. Okay. You can try, do that. Try yes, this I'm one. very impressed. Okay. I'm very impressed. Thank you as always. <laughs> All these recipes can be found at today.com backslash food. I don't think you'd have leftovers. That's the no, thing. No, I don't even think we'd get them. Come on, that was I a love challenge. It. Right? I'll, I'll be right back. It. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.